No. Really. Your kindness makes me forget that I'm a convict. You make me wonder how I could ever have been a thief. In the morning when we come by the line of the student prison, I meet you coming from early mass with your rosary and book. You make me forget that this place is a prison. You make it seem like like any village at home in France, with all the women coming from early mass in the streets, sweet with the smell of baking. That's what I had to say, madame. Well, you make me very happy telling me that, Michel. And I'm not afraid of you anymore. Condemned is a 1929 uh, prison film, black and white prison film, starring Ronald Coleman and Anne Hardy. I do, I do remember uh, Ronald Coleman vaguely from, um, from, my, from my past, but I had kind of forgotten all about this actor, to be honest. Um, but he's got a very distinctive look and voice. I do recall his voice from years go, uh, uh, gone by. Uh, he basically plays Michel, a French man who is a lifelong uh, criminal thief who gets sent to the notorious Devil's Island, the French penal colony in, in French Guiana. Uh, and this was a notorious place um, because of its extremely harsh working uh, conditions, uh, labor, hard labor conditions and the extreme uh, environment, uh, heat and um, just terrible living conditions that the prisoners had to deal with. Uh, I think it had a 75% mortality rate between the the in inmates. So it was a, a, an awful place to be sent. Uh, and basically he uh, gets picked out of the lineup by the warden, um, John Vidal, played by Dudley Diggs, uh, to work in, in his house. Um, uh, for his wife Anne Harding. Uh, she's uh, trapped in this unhappy marriage to the warden who is a chauvinistic, insensitive, arrogant bully basically. Uh, but the two of them uh, fall in love um, and uh, this comes to the attention of the, um, the insanely jealous uh, warden and he uh, puts Michelle back into a solitary confinement which is these uh, holes in the ground with the iron bars on top with where you got nothing above you but the sky basically you, you might re recall seeing them in, in other depi depictions of uh, Devil's Island and in, in just prison films in general and he also plans to send uh, his wife uh, back to France for her uh, infidelity that's the basic plot of the movie now this is a very very old movie i think it was 1927 that the talkies started so this is only two years after the talkies started and it does show in many ways um the film is very slow in parts i think that not help with the fact that it doesn't have a score to actually make the film flow and to help the pacing of the, of the drama uh, the acting on the whole is is quite good um, ronald coleman is really excellent as Michelle and he's got a really confident uh, natural uh, acting style and makes a really great leading man and Harding on the other hand is very really stuck in that in the silent film era style of acting and she uh, has these dramatic long poses and uh, uh, pauses between uh, line deliveries which can be a bit distracting but she's also got a really angelic ghostly um, appearance um, so she, she is quite uh, memorable and uh, good to watch in the movie also uh, the story was quite good uh, quite interesting um, the prison scenes were all uh, really well done uh, I thought the prisoners all looked really grizzled and uh, um, had some really um, authentic looking uh, weary faces and uh, it's beautifully shot in crisp black and white and it does pick up pace to the last half an hour is a really uh, exciting kind of conclusion to the film when Michelle uh, escapes and tries to reunite with um, Anne Harding. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend this film. It's definitely a, a curiosity from a bygone age, but it's interesting to see different acting styles from, a, uh, from the past. And 
to see how um, to see the different stars from a bygone era as well. So I would definitely give it a chance and uh, check this film out, uh, Condemned.